O O T T dating for like a minute. And we just came across the Harry Potter store package in the mail. I have no idea what it is. Yo, you guys, what is up? It is Monday, September 11th. And right now, I'm just meeting up with my girls, Anna. Hello, guys. Yeah, doesn't this lighting look like really, really good? Yeah, oh it's gosh, so you pretty. Guys look like goddesses. You do too. Hi. Yeah, so this is Olivia. We're actually filming a video for Anna. Olivia is filming, and I'm just kind of watching and Thinking yelling things like, food. good job. Yeah. <laughs> but Anna found this amazing place, and I'm gonna show you a tour. It's all this greenery, and then it has this really cool staircase. A lot of green plants. I can knock it over this location. It is absolutely gorgeous. And there are toys around just because I guess this place is a school, right? Well, like right but there. yeah, so it's like a preschool over there, but it's open to the public for certain hours. <laughs> Okay, so while they're filming, I thought that I would do a little OOTD. There's someone walking down the stairs. Oh, there's someone walking up the stairs. But yeah, I got this flannel at, it was Blue Notes. Blue Notes. And then I got this striped tank top from Brandy Melville when I was at VidCon last year, y'all. But then these jeans are also from Blue Notes. And then these shoes are from this place called Famous Footwear. Very dirty, I need to wash them. Okay, so we are still in the exact same location. We just took the elevator up to the fourth floor, you guys. The lighting is absolutely beautiful. So we're all getting a photo right here just because it looks so freaking gorgeous. dating for like a minute I asked him out so you guys we just arrived at freshie we all got the exact same thing so it's called a bamboo bowl brown rice curry sauce cabbage carrots broccoli mushrooms and a lime energize live taste test you gotta get a handful of that curry Mm-hmm. It's good. I like it. I would get it again. I got a frozen yogurt. Got some mango and some chocolate chips. That is mango, but it's like I was like, that's apple. <laughs> like that kind of looks like it apple, looks right? Right. <laughs> so we were just walking to the Salvation Army because I need to film a Halloween video. And we just came across the Harry Potter store. So it recently opened here in Toronto. Let's look around. Olivia, have you found anything exciting? Everything. Everything? Oh, they have wands here. Okay, let's go find wands. Okay, so I cannot find the wands, but they have a bunch of board games here. I can't find wands. Well, what's this? It's a cipher. Whoa. What? It's a music box. This one is over the rainbow. Oh, yeah. Would you dance to this in the club? Whoa. Yo, they actually need to invent that because then you could just do stuff without having to watch your stove. Guys, I used to own this poster. I had it on my wall. So we have just left Dollarama. I filmed, it was kind of an interesting video actually because when I got there, I didn't really know what I was gonna end up filming, but we brainstormed and came up with some stuff on the spot. So yeah, that's so what we've fun. been doing. Yeah? It was, it was, it was. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Every single thing in Dollarama and I wore it and I danced. But we're just heading back now and I'm probably just gonna be editing. I'm trying to get a video up. Nope. <laughs> But yeah, okay, bye. Hello everyone, so it is currently September 25th. I haven't vlogged in a while. I kinda don't wanna pressure myself to vlog if I don't want to type thing. Also, if you guys want me to check out your Instagrams, literally just leave comments saying, hey, I came from YouTube, and I will just straight up spam you, like 100%. I will spam a bunch of your photos. But anyways, before the vegan haul, I actually just got this big package in the mail and I have no idea what it is, so I thought that I would just open it up on camera. Yo, what? It's a backpack. It's from this PR company called Beauty United and they've been sending me a mailer for every single season So I guess this is a fall one. And this backpack is actually so cute. That's amazing. Yo Okay, so there's a notebook that says as if I absolutely love notebooks <gasps> Oh, this is cute ah! 
Oh, this is actually so cute. Whoa, I was not expecting this. Okay, and then we also got razors, which is honestly so nice because razors can be extremely expensive. But this one is by Venus and it is called a Comfort Glide White Teeth. But it looks like these are the type of razors that also have the sort of soap or lotion bars on the side. And I really like those, um, so that's awesome. Next is this Crest 3D White Kit. I've never seen Crest actually use one of these. With that light up thing, the strips are just gonna be more powerful. We have this product by Olay and it is a cream for tired and dehydrated eyes. Age defying hydrating gel cream moisturizer for dry skin. I love the packaging on this. Secret invisible spray. So this is a deodorant. That's oh, you probably have to remove the band. Oh, there it is, there it is. Oh, it smells really nice. Ooh, and then this is a dry shampoo by Herbal Essences. And this is in the scent White Grapefruit and Moza Mint. It honestly doesn't smell that different from other dry shampoos. Like I thought that it was gonna have this defining scent that was very different from everything else because I've never seen anything like this before. Ooh, we have this pen. Oh, that is pretty. And then we also got these pencils and it says, what would Blair Waldorf do? They're very, very cute. Oh cool, so this backpack is actually from Forever 21. It's pretty good quality. I'm very impressed with it. I will definitely be using this for sure. I've been using this small black bag, which a lot of people actually think that it's a brand name or something like that but i've had it for i would say almost a year now and it's from forever 21 it's definitely starting to wear out though which kind of sucks because i feel like the design actually does look kind of expensive so thank you so much to the msl group you guys are awesome i always love it when i receive your package i feel very very lucky um so yeah thank you so i just got back from the grocery store whenever i'm cooking at home i cook vegan i actually do still buy greek yogurt that's like the one thing that i buy that isn't vegan as well as coffee Creamer. I think that for a lot of people when they're interested in veganism They think that they have to be all vegan and I think that people are definitely ridiculed if they eat vegan 90% of the time and 10% of the time they don't and I feel like when we have that mindset it deters a lot of people away who would Maybe eat 50% vegan. Honestly, I think that if you eat vegan once a week, that's freaking amazing. It's all about progress and just limiting our consumption of meat and animal products because it is a horrible industry. But yeah, so that's just kind of my backstory and I just wanted to say it. All right, and now into the vegan grocery haul. This is actually pretty exciting. I've never done a grocery haul before. I think I'm also gonna mention the prices because I go to a grocery store called Longo's. I live here in Toronto and I've been told by a lot of people that it's very expensive. I'm very curious to see if you have similar prices prices to these items. All right, so first I got this pineapple and this was 2 dollars so these are all Canadian prices. Um, I think that that's really good. You can't get it cheaper than that. But yeah, I love to pick up pineapple. It's definitely one of my favorite fruits. I don't even know where to put all this stuff. I guess I'll just put it right there. Next, I got these tortilla chips by the Neil Brothers. I wanted to try the restaurant round style. I really like the blue ones. Uh, these are pretty good. And I got these on sale for $3.49. I like to use these with salsa. Next is a new product for me. I've never tried these out before, but they were on sale and it's by the brand Au Naturel, which I've actually never heard of, but it's plant-based and these are quinoa mushroom burgers. The packaging is very, very beautiful. I think they did an amazing job with that. So these were on sale for $5.99 and there are four inside. So I thought that was like a pretty decent price. So I thought that I would try them out. Next is something that I get every single time I go to the grocery store pretty much. It is the pumpkin seed and flax granola by uh, Nature's Path. This was not on sale. It was $4.99, but I still consistently buy it just because I like it that much. Next, we got some hummus and this is just a classic hummus. I bought this because I was going to use it as a spread when I'm making sandwiches. And this was $2.99. So I was just at the grocery store and I was looking at dark chocolate chips. And this is the only brand that they have at Longo's. And I really thought that all dark chocolate chocolate chips were vegan. I mean, if you were to ask me if this was vegan, I would have just said yes. I still bought them though, because as I said before, I'm not so much about like all or nothing. I, I'm more so about, okay, let's make an improvement here type thing. But yeah, please let me know in the comments down below if you guys know of a dark chocolate chips brand that is vegan. I got some salsa and I've never tried this one out before, but it was the cheapest and it had a lot of salsa in it. So I thought, why not? But this was $3.29, not that bad. I feel like I'm making this video for my mom to prove, hey, I don't spend a lot on groceries. <laughs> Okay, so next is the Greek yogurt and I do apologize if some of you guys clicked this and saw vegan haul and I don't know Maybe are like upset about this. I do completely understand um, But I'm just kind of being honest. I, I do still eat Greek yogurt. So I got this for $4.99 I didn't have the intention on picking up pumpkin puree when I was there But because it was on sale, I was like, you know, I gotta do it <laughs> So these were $2.99 each next I just got a can of crushed tomatoes 
I make this peanut stew, which is absolutely amazing. I make it pretty frequently, and that's just one of the ingredients for it. And with that peanut stew, it requires chickpeas, so I decided to get these. Unfortunately, the cheapest cans at Longo's are $1.19, which I just bought a bunch of potatoes, and this is actually $2.99, you guys. That's absolutely amazing. Next, we have some frozen spinach, and I actually just opened this for my smoothie that I made this morning. I used to use just regular spinach that wasn't frozen for smoothies. Because I'm only one person and I'm buying for myself, it just expires all the time. So then I started using frozen spinach, and I don't think that I'll ever go back. When vegetables are frozen, and they really retain all of their vitamins and their nutrients and stuff. And then I got some lettuce. Lettuce has been a new thing for me. I only bought lettuce for the first time the last time I went to the grocery store. I know that sounds so basic, but I just honestly haven't made anything with lettuce. And this was $1.69, you guys. Lettuce is so cheap. And then we have some tropical fruit blend. This is essentially what I always buy for smoothies. It has pineapple, mango, strawberry, and blueberry in it. Extra firm tofu. I was just kind of looking at some videos online for new recipes. And there's this recipe that used vegan bacon. So you essentially kind of slice it up very thin and you marinate it with tamari and liquid smoke and all that. I already had all the ingredients, so I was like, mm, I might as well try it. And then we got some bananas because I am always using these for smoothies. Recently, I've been using two bananas per smoothie. Before, I would only use one, but I don't know. I've just been about the bananas. And then I got a tomato, but I got this for the sandwiches that I'm going to be making. I ended up getting this new kind of bread that I've never tried before, but it was on sale. The brand is Stone Mill Slow Crafted Bakehouse. I thought I might as well try this out, you know? It's, it's fun to try out new breads. Yes, yeah, so this is on sale for $2.99, and then the regular bread that I always buy was $3.50, so. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys want me to do more vegan grocery hauls. And if you have any recipe recommendations or ways to save money with uh, grocery shopping, I'm definitely all ears. And uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this vlog. I already posted another vlog, so definitely check that out if you haven't seen it already. 